and a Samiri, uh, he was an, an evil religious leader. Some say he was even a rabbi, uh, meaning a religious clergy type from the time of Musa and Harun, who saw an opportunity to gain power. And uh, he most likely, uh, read the story in the Quran, most likely he saw uh, Jibreel go by, maybe even with the, uh, the horse of Jibreel, and he took some remnants from uh, the footsteps of Jibreel, and he then used it to cause uh, 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 the, the golden calf to make some sound as if it was uh, alive. And so he then deluded the people of Israel, uh, the children of Israel to worship the golden calf instead of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he became the chief rabbi of the, of that cult of the golden uh, calf. And the main lesson that I want to extract, much can be said, the main lesson I want to extract, and it is a terrifying one, dear Muslims, and I've already referenced this in, a little bit in the past, that we seek Allah's refuge from evil people of knowledge because they represent a very, very dangerous category. We seek Allah's refuge, A'udhu Billah, that I am ever amongst them or any of us is ever amongst them or we're ever influenced by them. But there is a category of people, a Samiri is their leader, uh, that type of, of persona, who will literally sell their Akhirah for the sake of this dunya. A'udhu Billah, A'udhu Billah, we seek Allah's refuge. They will sell themselves for a measly profit. They will sell their religiosity to the highest bitter. In the case of a Samiri, that bitter was fame, was a cultish following, to have people come up to him. In the case of others, it might be money, it might be uh, acquiescence to a dictator, to a tyrant, it might be power, it might be wealth, whatever it might be. But there is a small category, A'udhu Billah, we seek Allah's refuge, of people of knowledge, people who are associated with ilm, that A'udhu Billah, they are misguiding under the garb of piety. And therefore, I need to be very explicit here, dear Muslims, any time a person of the religion is not calling to Allah and His Messenger, but calling to Himself, beware of that person. Our religion is not based upon cultish personalities. Our religion is based upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the worship of Allah based upon the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah. The job and the role of an alim, of a teacher, of a shaykh is to connect you to Allah, to the Quran, to the sunnah. The job of a person of knowledge is so that you are inspired to be a better person worshiping Allah subhanahu Subhanahu wa ta'ala and loving the messenger. Any scholar who create who is creating a personality cult around himself and demands unquestioned loyalty and acquiescence and cultish following, beware of that person, beware of that person, beware of that person. The true scholar humbles himself so that the goal is not the scholar, the goal becomes the religion, the goal becomes connecting the people with the religion and the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And don't follow those scholars that are following a Samiri. A Samiri wanted to become uh, his own cultish following and the people follow him. And so Allah punished him in this world and, and Musa says in, in Surah Taha and what is going to be punished in the, in the hereafter is even more than uh, this.